Introducing Social Banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Hey, I'm Kin Karisa, uh, out of Uganda, but operating in East Africa. The East African region looking at uh, mainly five countries, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda and partly South Sudan. Kin Group started when I was at Makere University, uh, finishing uh, Bachelor of Statistics. I got some skills, and these skills uh, made me uh, think of doing business. And I had a brother in the US, he sent me, uh, in the 90s, he sent me a laptop. In Uganda, to have a laptop in the 90s, at university, it meant a lot because there are very few computers in Uganda. So I had done statistical analysis and I knew every finalist, let it be at master's or bachelor's or at PhD, you needed to do research. So I installed SPSS. SPS was a statistical package then. And I was a guild minister. I was a student leader at university. I had my own room to myself and I had five uh, classmates staying in university hall in my hall of residence. So I made them my employee. I would design questionnaires for people. They go do data collection. My classmates would do data entry into the system. I would come and analyze. I produce a report and I would be paid. I would be paid and people would, it would help them to complete their research and their, their report because I would input that extra element that they never had. And also, there are no computers then at university other than our labs at the Institute of Statistics. So that's how I created Keen Systems, my first company in life. It was never registered anywhere, but I was earning. After university then, I had to go and register it and then start doing crazy things like programming, web programming and other things. So basically, that's how I started. We, we run Kin Group and uh, in Kin Group, we have about 12 companies. And those 12 companies are spread into uh, ICTs and media. Our core is basically IT, media and telecom. Uh, but we spin off into real estate, real estate and uh, partly uh, construction uh, and automobile. As King Group, we sell nothing. It's the companies that are in King Group that are big, that do many, many things and they have products. And in King Group, the companies we run, you, they are either number one or number two in the sectors they run in. We've, we've, we've done many things, we've won many awards. What we can say that we pride ourselves to, to really serving people. And money comes as a by the way. In Uganda alone, if you wake up in the morning, if you've not watched our news on NBS, you receive an SMS maybe alerting you of a news update from DMARC Mobile. As you come, maybe you'll see one of our billboards from Oxford, Oxford Digital Media. Uh, maybe if you are going to construct a house, we'll supply you with aggregates from the old world. Uh, maybe as you navigate, you are looking for, for an office or an office or restaurant, SatNav will guide you, you'll navigate using our, our systems. And if you go and pay your bills, water or electricity, what we call umeme here, you will get an alert that you, your money has been received or you're about to be disconnected through our SMS system. So there is no way a Ugandan can avoid one of our companies to serve them. So we serve the people and, and that's what we pride in. All the things we do, we try to build a brand around them so that the brands can live longer. The challenges is that one, people you need to partner with because you cannot start a company alone. Other than that at campus, later when I went into serious business, you had to do business with other people. But how do you identify partners to work with? Right now, I have partners ranging from people from Germany, from US, from Australia, 
Kenyans, Africans, Ugandans, across. All these companies, I have a mixture of partnerships. How do you identify people you've not grown up with, you are not born with, to do business with? So that's the biggest challenge I face as, a, as, a, as an entrepreneur, that you need to be a, a thinker and a strategic person to know how to deal with people. So how do you choose a partner? It has to be, there should be a connection. That should be, I should feel free working with you. I should be frank with you. I should be able to tell you what is hard to be told to. I've only been in business for 14 years. Uh, NBS alone has been in business. This is the seventh year. Yeah, NBS television. The future of Kane Group is that all these companies, we want them to be number one. Whichever will be number three will be sold. And CEOs and, uh, and, and people who work there, they know that we are either number one or number two in the marketplace. My advice to my uh, fellow Africans is that by 2040 or 2030, Africa, Africa's economy will be bigger than European economies. If we exploit our resources very well, and between Africa and Asia, by 2050, will be controlling 60% of the economy, of the world economy. So meaning that the future is actually now Asia and, and, and Africa. And as Europeans and other economies come to invest in Africa, we need to make sure that we are alert and we know that we can benefit out of it. And we need to strategically position ourselves to benefit out of Africa. We need to educate our brothers and sisters to be able to understand that Africa is the only future that the world has. Europe has been exploited. America is overexploited. Asia is being exploited right now. We need to exploit Africa to benefit Africans. And our brothers need and sisters, they need to be alert. If we sleep the way our great-great-grandfather slept and they took our energetic, what you see as slaves in the US and others, this will be another slavery. But I don't think Africans are ready for that. We are ready to work hard to benefit Africa, and Africa will shine, I know that.